okay, there's a difference between child abuse and uh, I don't consider teenagers children. They want to run around acting like adults. You treat them like one. That's how it goes. Want to run around acting like that? You treat them like. No matter if it's in a sex atmosphere or if it's in a fucking, I got a school you want some YouTube. You should know your place and know your role. Okay, you that means, and I'm not even really trying to blame the child really or the uh, teenager. I'm looking at the parents. Well, how do you raise a fucking kid to be like this? You know? Not that it's all the parents, but they have free will. They, but you know, you're as a parent, you're supposed to guide, be there, and protect. Or making stupid decisions like hanging out with guys at, at bars where they work at and they're old men. You're a fucking teenager. What the hell does that say about your character? I, what I'm looking at, that's what I get. You guys can see whatever you want. Apparently you do. Apparently they still do. What's up, dumbasses? It's the guy you love to fucking just hate so much. This is going to be, I don't know, the fifth or sixth time I'm calling out a little Agent Night Tween and his skate childers. It seems that these gutless cowards like to run their mouths and call people pedos and deflect away from their nasty thought process. When you run against the wrong person to do that crap, Of course, it's hard to confront. But of course, like a good little guy, we're going to give you the opportunity one more again to at least muster up enough courage to come up here and explain your side of the story on why you continue to paint me as such. Do you want to listen to the quote that people are using to paint me these days as some kind of sick freak? You just heard it, right? Did you hear anything in regards to violating or hurting children or teenagers? You hear anything of the sort in the clip that I just played? This is a clip that people use quite frequently. I don't understand why, but they use this. I'm convinced they don't want me to talk about parental control. They don't want people or kids growing up to have parents. That's why they call CPS on people, try to get their kids taken away. This is one of those ruses, you know. Easy to see this shit. Very simple for the person that gets it. Very complicated for the person that doesn't want to see or is involved in this sick behavior themselves. We're going to go ahead and play this one more time. And for the slow burgers kids out there who hadn't graduated from special ed class, we're going to go ahead and play it for you. All right. Now, you tell me and anybody can come up here and dispute this. What's truth? How's it going? Anybody can come up here and dispute it. And apparently we got a lot of people that have opinions about this. One minute and four second rant. I went on about parental control. I don't know exactly what I was talking about beforehand. I know it wasn't about hurting children or anything. It was about parental control. If you listen to the whole thing, you can kind of figure it out by the ending of it, how it started. But of course, sick, dumbass freaks got to take it, pervert it to, like, to where it doesn't even make sense. And the fact that people are using this really scares me. You know, a lot of people get up here and they complain about YouTube and YouTubers. This is beyond YouTube and YouTubers. You understand what I mean? This has gone into personal realms of where you guys need some definite help. You know, there's nothing so special about me to where you feel the need to look up my every movement. There is just isn't. But you got some people literally doing that. Could you believe that? And then they come to me. Oh, it's just useless YouTube drama. Nobody wants to hear of it. Well, fuck off. Go somewhere else. I don't need to listen to you cry. I got enough tears coming out on this on this side. I don't need to hear you and console you as well. The fuck? Get the fuck away from me with that crap. Now, in terms of real people, we've already shown who we are. Now it's time for Fat Katie and 
Twiggy team. To make their presence known. We'll give you a warm welcome if that's what you need. You spent your time up here and when it was against Tiffany. Then you'd show up and want to contribute. Then you had something to say. It was about calling your sick ass out. You have nothing to say anymore. So you know what that shows me? You're a user and a loser. And I can't help pieces of shit like that in the world. You understand? Hide behind screens with their fat, slimy asses. Just can't do it. Now, what I can do is invite your sorry ass up here. And since I'm a pedo and everything, you want to come and prove that shit? Please do. You make your life worthwhile instead of living in that fucking trailer house. Let's go. Another single disgusting mother with multiple children. <laughs> does it get any sicker than that? Oh, it probably does. You know, when you put your own kids up there to be abused and it's by you and you frame people with that. It's a sick move, don't you think? It's useless. You'll never think that. Because if you thought it, you just would have never have done it. Scary. And Agent 19 agrees with it. He didn't agree with it like six months ago. But why he agrees with it now is because he's hiding behind your tail. So someone doesn't snap his pencil back. You understand what I'm getting at, right? Total deflection. You see? And the fact that you can't come up here and face me one-on-one -on -one shows what kind of dipshit we're really dealing with. Now, it would be all right if it was out of my like, real life, but these same fuckers have taken this shit to other realms. They know who they are. Hell, they get up here and pretend they're my friend. Pretend they're cool. I ain't cool as Joe. You know, I'm hot in some people's eyes. Where are these two individuals? Where's everybody at? They're just sitting back and listening. I've had enough of this shit. I've had enough of these people. I've had enough of this fucking bullshit. So, if anybody has any guts, you can come up here and talk to me. Did anybody really have any guts? I don't think so. I think this community is overrated. You know, even in terms of the drama, they can't even get that shit right. Fucking up all over the place. They can't even keep consistent drama, keep you interested. They just suck you. They suck at everything. All they do is run their fucking mouths like it gets them somewhere. But in essence, just get you right back here. Because me, I don't have a problem with responding. Not one. It doesn't waste, it's not like a waste of time, unless it is a waste of time. But when you have Fat Katie and Pencil Neck 19 calling you a pedophile for a, at least a year, and they never want to address this shit, let me see where we're at. I'm going to be up here as long as I need to be. This could be ended in one conversation. But I need to be the sick freak. So they'll never come up. You know, sometimes it is probing time. Is that what you're scared of? I would say you should be. But you shouldn't be. This is the moment in time. Where you have a chance to be free. You have a chance. At life once again. Instead of hiding behind a screen. Hiding in some room like some slime ball, you have the opportunity to come clean with 20 people that are here. The, you know what I'm saying to you? Like 20 people that are here, you have the opportunity to come clean. I recommend you do. You might say otherwise, and that's you.
You know Tam and Aaron are lurking. Everyone say hi to Tom Spitting and Aaron Cox. Of course. They're hiding in the background. They have nothing to say to me. Because if we started talking, the questions would be out of line. Even though me, myself, I got to watch my back. I don't care how crazy it sounds to you. And we've had a lot of racist pricks here. Is Agent 19 one of those racist pricks, too? You know, Skate made herself so comfortable. Now she won't even come here. I didn't mean to. You meant to. You know, saving Agent 19 will not save the day. You do know that, right? Fucking flies all over the place. Aaron is lurking. You Did you block me from your channel? You probably did, didn't you, Katie? That's okay. I don't need your channel to speak my mind. Some of you need this channel to speak your mind, which is quite sad. And then when they start to speak their mind, nothing but bullshit comes out. Think of what they think of on a daily basis. Daily basis, if their mouth is just full of crap, every statement that comes out is full of crap. Think where their head is at. It's not in a good space and time, I'll tell you. Cheers to all you bud smokers out there. Fuck you who's got a problem with it. Yeah, I was speaking to Anton. Cheers, bitch. You know, we're talking cigarettes. No wonder we're dissing my hundreds. You see, when we're talking Smokies, this might be a little too big. You know, hundreds are, are longer. They happen to be. So we got to smoke it down to, like, you know, Aaron size. I'm going to show you how long the smoky should be. I actually sometimes wait for the reply to watch to use turbo mode. You these indicas drool is you. I don't know what he's saying. This guy's always speaking in some kind of comic book code. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You familiar with Agent 19? Mr. Cox reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. You know that's shit, right? Has nothing to do with him. He's reporting for duty. Because he's a fucking fly mouth. No. Nah, he lies too, so don't believe him. What's even happening? I don't know. The world is happening, baby. The world. Do you have a problem with that? Mm hmm. You should sit there and be the spectator you are and be entertained by the people who actually have guts to say things and do stuff in the world. Closet dwellers hanging up their clothes. Not so much integrity there. You would agree. But you're too self-righteous to even bow down to what is correct in this universe. But don't worry, it all balances itself out. Everything will come to light. All that stuff, all the cliche nonsense. Well, I don't take pride in calling people names on their own panels. That's what these little supremacist people, that's how they think. No, I'd rather destroy his argument on my panel when I let him talk. See, losers like that, they control the narrative. If you got a narrative, say, cut real quick. What does that prove? Huh? No, I want you to see the, the Swiss cheese holes in his argument for his sandwich artists. You know what I mean? It's like...
at the beach. Or playing with sandboxes and sandcastles. Like Eureka figured it all out. While we're waiting for Skatey, which will never show up in Agent 19, we want to take a time out. Don't let me hold up your amateur show hour. <laughs> when you have a chat full of uh, four people that uh, just diss you all the time, no one, you know, you don't even have lurkers. That's how much you suck. You don't even have lurkers, dude. He's a big truth teller. No, he's a failure. I'm not saying I'm some big, huge success, but you have to make me a failure. I have to be a failure in your eyes, right? Amateur hour. Mm -hmm. you know, mercy is for the weak, and you don't get any. Not in these days and times. All right, little man. You get up here and scream like some bitch on our period. Proves what you are. Need I say more? Of course. Of course. It's ironic. Cox is your name. <clears throat> Cox needs attention, doesn't he? Well, I'll be up here for about an hour. We can shoot the stuff back and forth if you'd like. I mean, you just you content with what you're doing? If you're content, just say so, so I know where you stand. Be a man. You like my avatar, don't you? We went back to old trusty because that's the only thing that really speaks volumes to you people. You understand what I'm saying to you? It just flew over your head like the cuckoo's nest. A lot of these people not only caught the cuckoo's nest, but took it home. And they're nursing it back to health. Right, guys? <laughs> uh, I don't even need to ask. You know we're having fun. I complain about you. I don't even talk about you. There's nothing to talk about. What's the latest thing going on in Cox's world? I don't fucking know. The last thing was the split pea soup, and that's old. Oh, your Colorado chili. This guy and his recipes. His recipes, guys. Mm. How's amateur hour turning out? Is it good? Or is it nice? It's beautiful, man. It really is. You know, it's quite gloomy over here. I ain't complain about you for hours, man. Don't make it seem like I complain about Cox all the time. I don't. Maybe that true squirts does, but I don't. No, I don't think so. I think you're mentally challenged. I think all you slow burgers just come here. That's what you do. You slow burgers just come here. Where's Agent 19? Did you do you know him? Go get him. He's cool. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. And there's no reason to bring you up to talk to you because I don't have anything to say to you. I was done with you when you fucked with my voice on your panel. I haven't talked about you since. I didn't even talk about that. That's how much you've been relevant. I could just remember that was the last thing. That was the last straw with you. I was like, this guy's a fucking clown. He's no more than just a stupid little bitch. Thinks he's funny and shit. Little fucking clown. And just make up at Charlie's Angels, something like that. That's the last time I ever thought about a fucking Aaron V. Cox, though. Seriously. 
Oh, you sound the best you've ever sounded. He's just fucking with it on the other side. What a dipshit. Any respect I may have had for you if I was wrong about some things out the window on that day. So when you talk about respect and you talk about I don't have any for you, like not even a little bit. It's interesting to watch you type in here and what you'll say. That's why I keep you around for my special projects. You know, the hush hush ones, we can't talk about with the slow burners. Those projects, Aaron. Hold up. Did you want to come up and talk to me? Here, hold on. I'll do something Aaron doesn't do. See that? See how easy this is? Oh. Keep crying, Rai Rai. Get true sharks up there with you for some deflecting. Well, if Cox would come up and show his face, maybe we could see his eyes. Oh, does it now? Or maybe I'm just mad at people like you. Let's see. Hold on. Are they moving okay? I, I think so. Hold on. That good? Enough for cocky. Funny Cox can't show himself, right? School's out. Mm. Looks like somebody's been watching a little too much Freddy Krueger. You have something to say, bitch boy? Or what? You can run your insults in chat. I'll go ahead and drop the link for the fucking guy because uh, we can. He's Agent 19's representative. See, I knew, and, the, and people that were smart, they figured out like, the urban is, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought, but that's what you fuckers want. Go ahead, Cox. Go ahead and do it. School's out. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. You see how we're smiling today? Mm. Yeah, go ahead. I know. It's like, it, it's a tough time. Man. Tough. No, let's do it right now. Let's see how nasty you look. Come on, Cox. Let's go. Click that link and get your ass in here. It'll work out, I promise. You know, I'm not known to give out fake promises, Cox. Look up the definition. You are not a veteran. Oh, he's a veteran, all right. He's a vet. But it's not what you're thinking. It's a whole different kind of, kind of veterinarian he's talking about. You know, with the kitties and shit. And his dog food. Oh, my gosh. Can we see now? No, he's not like a war vet or anything like that. He's a raw vet. Right? Nice and raw. Right, Cox? <clears throat> now, let's stay focused, Cox. Let's click the link, put your face up here, and we can all 
be up here talking together like a big happy family of, of munchkins, critters, gremlins, dragons in dungeons, double D titties, and all of those exciting things. Meanwhile, Mr. Cox made videos today moaning about Urban D and many others. Did he? Maybe that's why he's one of the few to show up. He dropped like three in a row. I was like, he's blowing my phone up. No pun intended. With his notifications. Like, doesn't this idiot know you get three a day? He looks like he's going on a tirade. If he does more, no one's going to get those notifications, guy. Come on, man. Space it out a little bit. Six hour increments, or maybe eight. Who knows? You know, you're dealing with people like this. Anybody know where Agent 19 is? I would re I'd rather talk to him. He seems to have some fake common sense. This guy, he just he's a self-proclaimed idiot. He's the village idiot LARP. So why even pay attention to him? He gets stupider when you pay attention to things like this. Actually, those videos were recorded months ago, but he feels need to drop them today. They're relevant today. Come. Yeah, great stuff, dude. Great stuff. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to have to get out of here in the next 10 to 15 minutes because Agent 19 can't show up. Not my fault. Mm. Cox, I think you're wrong about a lot of things. I think you're an idiot. That's all. Just stupid. Okay. How's your how's your journey going over there, Cox? Good. Great. I thought he clicked the link by now. He's busy doing things. Can't you see him on the other head? His head's about to explode every time he talks to Urban Disciple. This guy's always crying. He lives his whole life with a box of Kleenex by his bedside. No, those beds that you have out in the yard. <laughs> kind of like flower beds, you know what I mean? I think you're a loser. You all know, keep it up. You know, it takes one to know one. You know exactly what to look for. That's all right. You know, we're going to take a break. Because we feel like, um, but Cox just doesn't get the message. This was not about him. It's got to be about him, though. Because are you one of those guys hiding this Agent 19 dude? You got to be. Actually, I was resting, and the box of Kleenex next to the bed was one of my jokes. I got a what? No, that I don't know about any of you saying that shit. You were obsessed with the flower and the soup, so I figured you know something about flower beds and Kleenex boxes. Don't worry, we won't tell. It's just us, buddy. Me, you, and 21 others. He's got awards, guys. He's got awards. For what? For what? For what? He's a seasoned vet. Don't ever forget it. Got the proper size car. When we're mentioning Smokey. Maybe I should ask P19. 
He can whip his magic wand, his magic pee pee wand out, and we can have a fun time today. Oh, so he was cleaning the deck figures, figures of speech as I project what I think about you into this microphone right here. You heard that? Now here's rule one. You have to show yourself. Now, put on your cam and show yourself to the world. All right, all right you got to give me a minute. Just give me a minute, Kay. No, this is a face-off. No, no faceless trolls I got to brush my hair, Kay. Got to brush oh. my hair real quick. All right. Yeah, maybe maybe trim you, a couple done? of nose hairs. You, you done? Just give me a few minutes. Just give me a few minutes there, right? Are these, are these two-inch hairs, by the way? Got to gotta tease my my eyebrows a little bit, okay? Just hold on, dude. I know you. I know you uh, like to see cocks two, and all, two, but hold two, on. Two inch, just two calm down hair, there, boy. Rudy. Just calm down. Mm -hmm. He knows all about it. He is the sickest of them all. He's got his little army, but don't worry. No, no, I, I don't have an army. Okay, I no, don't have no, an army, you, no, and you, I don't do you, anything with Agent 19, do. and I'm the one that you went do. on his panel and called him a cunt to his face. You you haven't done that yet. So, I, I know it's amateur. It's a great achievement. It's a great achievement. Well, it's, well, you know what? It was tacos that was starting to say that I, I said something that I was going to rape her or something like that. She said that to Agent 19, so I went up there, and I'm like, you fucking weirdos. How could you, Agent 19, let this bitch sit up here and say that I threatened a raper or something like that, and you don't even question her about it? And called him a cunt, and he called me a cunt and booted me. But anyways. That's unfortunate. Well, see, I, I know a guy like that. You state actors really don't go don't go far from your little safe spaces. I know. But Are you know you what's funny is, is when you came up to my panel the other day and, and your, your voice was all glitching out, Simon was actually trying to blame me that I was doing that to your voice, and that was some funny shit when it wasn't. Hmm. It was just interesting how he couldn't hear a word, but you could. You were answering no, my I, questions. No, I did. You were you were glitching out. Just yeah. like what, so what was in the recording. How you, mm -hmm. What was in the recording is what I heard. You know, it was funny because I tried to tell everybody. You how could you answer phone. questions? I couldn't hear a word I, I was saying. I know. You, you got a lot of questions, questions you did. You were so you excited. A, you, a lot you, of couldn't, you couldn't hold your Paranoid people. schizophrenics will have questions for the rest of their lives that won't get answered, but you'll sit there I and be, be asking. Paranoid schizophrenic. Talking in circles and shit like that. No, talking Delusional paranoid schizophrenia. You sure? Well, that's I mean, what it I seems like. I mean, unless questions. it's the indica mm -hmm. you're smoking, it might be the indica you're smoking. It makes you real paranoid. Who's paranoid about you answering my question when no one could hear me? Dude, dude, you admit it yourself. That's not paranoid. You're, you're sketched out, all on. right? You're not going to leave your little safe space there up under your little awning, okay? It's been proven. I don't know what that means. You want to elaborate? Know. Okay, uh, on, elaborate. I think you're a puss bag that doesn't leave your spa safe space very often. Hmm. Like within a five mile radius. I mean, when's the last time you've been five miles away from your house? Beauty, go ahead. Last time. Uh, or five miles remember. away from your house. Maybe Christmas. Urban disciples. Oh, okay. Christmas time. All right. Urban disciples. Are, are you bullshitting? Urban me? disciples. What you know what? What if I don't believe what? you? What if I don't believe you? What if, what like if I think problem. it's been longer than Christmas since you've left your safe space there? Define safe space and then we'll talk. 
<laughs> the same place you stream from every day that proves you don't I mean, leave. <laughs> leave. Come on, dude. Quit, quit trying to bullshit me and then, then let Miss Glittery Stalkers come up on your panel and this overrun it with do her crime, bullshit, it. you know? This doesn't have anything to do with Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I mean I'm mean, i sure I'm sure that, you know, when somebody comes up on my panel and you don't like don't it like Jimmy that. Gums, you're going to you're going to let me know about it, too, right? Oh, you let Jimmy Gums come up on your panel and talk shit about Done it. I could defend myself. I don't need to cry to you. I don't cry at all. What about you? I don't know. It sounded like you were trying to cry mm -hmm. the other day when you logged in and you couldn't restart your phone to get a clear signal. But, hey, you know. Hey, I, that's way. I mean, even though you're glitching you. out and shit like that, it was, it was the best I've ever heard you. But at the same uh -huh. time, I mean, dude. Then, then yeah, you're simping to Natalie. That was funny as it, shit. Both it just great. proves I didn't belong there. That was great. Never did. Any but, more question? I I might be done for a minute, but go go ahead. I, you always have a lot of questions, so why don't you go ahead with your I don't questions. Have any questions? Oh yeah, I do actually have one. I was crying about well, what again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm crying to Natalie about what? Go for it. You know what? I, I made a video Familiar about it. Terms. I'll just release it later. Holding one. I won. I beat him. Again. Yeah, that's that's what you about safe what? space chumps need to uh to do is is have win win on the internet. Win win win. I'm only speaking your language. You definitely oh, don't speak do. my language. Oh speaking your I know UD, it's like a, UD, it's you're like the expert here in demonics. I'm not okay. What sucks what for you? Said? It sucks for you. I can just no. Read I, I'm, the I'm lines actually glad that you're reviving thing. the the ancient language of abonics. I'm glad you're you're keeping just like Sanskrit, keeping it around. Okay. Well, at least I made the, the news. Scarf. I at no least I made the news, Scott. Huh? You got no other questions for me? I just basically wanted to come up and tell you that I got nothing to do with Agent 19, Tamara, all these other motherfuckers you're trying to line me up with. I've never tried to line you up with Tamara. What are you talking about? She, she did go live right now. No, no, I, I, did I didn't get another say text you. I said someone else, all so. you simpy-ass motherfuckers try to line me up with. It means the people you platform to, UD. I am I'm platforming you right now, I guess. It's not my platform. No, I'm I'm not no, I'm it. not here because I'm I'm trying to be cool with you. <laughs> right? I'm not here because I, I want to be your friend. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it breaks platforming my heart. Platforming is, is letting you know, letting truth hurts come up here and just simp off and cry for a few minutes and Oh, he's jealous. Oh. And then you just kind of sweep them off the edge, you know. I, I know how you do it to your white slave folk. Right? Your white crackers just kind of, kind of brush them off to the side once you've once you've used them, just like you did with me and Eric Spitfire and all the shit that I dropped on him to you. Man. I did. Are these delusions? No, you're getting you to talk right did. now. I don't know how I've done anything. What are you talking about? Yeah. You no. want to elaborate? No, you don't. No, it's it'll go you over your head time? anyway. It'll no, go over your head. <laughs> no, it's it's over your head, UD. I'm sorry. Is not, it not really worth getting into it? It's really under my feet, but I just entertain you guys. It's, I just like to keep you in limbo. Oh, under your That's feet. All. Under your feet that you've God, dude. You don't have yeah, any miles he's... under those feet if you're not leaving more than five miles away from your safe space, dude. That's not many more. Well, that's you and yours. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. I know I that know. for a fact. So you might want to keep that between you and your family. You understand my lingo? No. Of course no, I don't. You don't. No, I don't. I don't. It's just you and the dog. It's, it's just language. you and the dog. You and the dog. Aaron. What about it? He understands that lingo. No, I was talking about you and your family. It's just you and the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have anything to do me, with anything Me and else the dog going? now. Huh? You're the one who said it was you and the dog, huh? So what about... What, talking about? what about it? You sick fox. Hold on. Helicopter. 
Oh, that's that's you projecting. That's right. That's you projecting something sick about me and a dog now. Okay. Yep. That's that's what Unity does. I was talking about you and a dog. I was talking about you and your family. Yeah, that's, but you that's saying what I have that left. A dog, it's, it's, but it's me and the dog. Yeah, me and the dog yeah, is left. I know. Yeah. yeah. So are we back on schedule now? <laughs> Yeah, I, I just don't get your sick, twisted rhetoric that you're trying to pull. I because I'm you not having a conversation like with you. you I know you, you got to project that I'm sick like that, but I'm not. Uh, you are actually. He's like oh, nervous okay. too. Right. Oh, I'm nervous. Is yeah. that what you're saying I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. simps don't make me nervous. Betas don't make me nervous. Uh, who's a beta and who's a simp? Uh, what you were doing exactly labels. last night that I got a recording of is pretty simpy. <laughs> I'll, I'll release it here in a little bit. Wait, hold on. what was that? Say one more time. I was saying what you were doing with Natalie a little bit last night was pretty simpy. I got a recording of it. I'll release later. I was asking what that was. What was simpy I was doing? Well, a simp isn't going to realize he's being a simp or a beta. All right, you're just not gonna realize it. It's okay, beauty. It's all right. You'll you'll grow up uh, one day, right, okay. right. I'll grow up one day, right, right. Uh, you guys are funny, but it's not entertaining me. We can go further if you want. I just don't want to take it there. We can. No, no yeah, because you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to uh, be busted out for the white knighting you're doing for Eric. I know. My white is that that's you. You're doing the white nighting for Eric. No, I've been busting I'm making him, him look out. bad. I've been busting him out since 2016. Well, what's wrong with Eric? Of course, what's wrong with Eric, right? Yeah, nope. no need, what no need it? to focus, no need to focus on real estate actors. There, <laughs> <laughs> he's a real estate, he's a state actor. Fuck Yeah, in my book. Oh, in your book. Sellout state actor, bitch. Five foot five. Five foot five. How tall are you? Five seven. Taller than that, and a half. Taller oh, than that, five, you need. Oh, tight. Six foot. Six two. Six foot. I might even be five, as tall seven. as your buddy Jason Banks. Five seven and a half is Cox's heart. Tight. Jason Banks? Dude, I got to get him up here. You it's funny, have, like, dude. oh, I mean, I gotta get him up here right now. Oh yeah, yeah, bring him up. Actors. Let me give him a yeah. He he doesn't have the balls to show up in my neck of the woods. That's for sure. He'll just keep blocking my account so he can talk shit behind my back, right? Well, I don't agree with him. Uh, his all his constant shit talk. I'll say that. Yeah, you do. He can come like up here it, right now. Like it, it helps take the the heat off of you, you need. I have to be involved because you don't want to be. I get it. No, I, I don't want to be involved in your LARP, dude. No, thanks, what man. LARP? What LARP are we playing? Yeah, well, I've Please, pointed it out. Please, enlighten plenty. us. Enlighten us, man. I want to know because I'm just so fascinated to hear this. Yeah. The LARP. What LARP? I can name it so many things. I could label it so many things, UD. But I'd much rather just, you know, say that you're stuck in your safe space. I hope that you get out more than five miles away from it every once in a while, okay? Get some vitamin D, all right? Maybe grow some herbs to help your cooking LARP, too. Sounds great. I know. What yeah, kind? In a, in a, well, I don't want to say a normal person's world. But there are normal people out there that, that grow food to cook with when they're cooks. Oh, and yeah. Make split right. pea soup and chili Colorado and stuff like that. But yeah, UD but has to turn it into something books. sick. No, no, no. no. You're the, the one book should be... <laughs> that turned it into something sick. All right. You don't want to listen. Right. right. Yeah. 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 I didn't turn it into anything sick. I was just. Uh huh. Yeah. I know. Slow burgers. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then you're trying to say, I'm the one working at Slow Burgers and I'm the one that's chilling. I'm the one LARPing, right? And I'm the one that's working for DHS, all this bullshit. Uh, I said that once, but you take it like you're actually doing that. Are you a Satanist by any chance? No, are you? Of course not. No. But some would but, say. But, but you, you enjoy challenging God, right? Is that, is that, I, mean, I got the clip of that somewhere. You enjoy challenging God <laughs> every day. Well, I'd say, you mean like, what? This guy is just off his rocker right now. No, no I, I got the clip of that. I should upload okay. it. Actually, you should. You know, I think I already got it. I think right. I already got it on a, another channel uploaded. I could probably pull that up. You should. I know you I don't. Like you don't. You're not able to remember much it. of what you say. I know, UD. You got to be reminded, or else it'll fuck up your LARP. No, I just know what I would say. Right. right. I don't know. If, I mean, you're just twisting it. I will take on well, God's what challenges. What I'm repeating is is what I remember. No, of course, and it's coming from you. So, damn. right. You right. couldn't remember about the ID or Maybe not. we could uh, yeah, so. yeah, that that helps your LARP too, I know. The only you. But, only but you know what? Yours. What <laughs> I, Rai Rai, what what exactly did I what was the reason why I asked Miss Glittery Stalkers for her ID? Can you reiterate on that? Why only exactly you would know. did I did I I'm no no, I'm asking you if, if you know or remember. Do you know why I asked Miss Glittery Stalkers for her ID? I know what you've told me. Yeah, you said that the cops were harassing her and okay. you didn't want her to come up missing. You weren't going to send some mean people out to get her just to maybe right, get her but, out of jail in, or something. Okay, right, right, right. But in one of her videos, yeah. and I just released the clip not too long ago, she said I asked her for ID to verify to come onto a radio program. <laughs> but but you don't, don't like but you don't care that you're being lied to, right? Especially by Mr. Eric Spitfire, her you don't care about that. You just keep LARPing on. Says who? Says who? Says who? That's what you see. Well, you're you're not gonna call out anything like that, right? Especially uh that if she maybe filed charges against me, right? Okay, I'll call her out right now. Miss Glittery Stalkers. Maybe I mean uh, a, a, APM <laughs> come up here and tell the world tell them all about what really happened between you and the bot there you go there's the challenge I can only do it like I could do it with AJ-19 you, you know Skate. she's just gonna She's going to just spout off and over talk and, and run with her bullshit rhetoric and spin it around and do backflips and shit like that, you know, and, and just to appease you. And what? what? No, no, I don't yeah. think so. Well, why don't you explain your side since I haven't got a oh, I already have plenty of videos, but you don't no, watch. Just them, take so. the no, no, you're missing the point, because if I'm going to do this and ask this of her, I got to ask you first since yeah. you're here. And you know she's not here. I'm gonna message. I'm gonna ask her to do that for you and everybody. Oh, please! Because please there's... don't ask her to do anything for me. She'll report me to the police again. <laughs> I'm kind of scared about that's not good. No, no, this I'm not scared because, because scary. I haven't done anything wrong. See, that's that's okay, the thing. I'm not then... scared. Okay, so let's right. start it from the top. But it, it seems as though have... your pattern, you're the one that supports snitches, right? You Truth see? hurts. Tony, well, those are, right? Those you're are LARPing your, it up like, with Tony. I don't LARP it up with anybody. <clears throat> right. It's not a, right. Like a, it's more like a spiritual cleansing here. Right. Not like yeah, the other with, stuff. Yeah, with your Luciferian like album. Floor, right? I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's bleach. Excuse me. Should, I need to it should have pull a up that Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll pull up that. No, I was just wondering if you wanted to start from the top and just just get her done. Say no, what happened. All right. It, I made plenty of videos about it. I would love. We would all love to hear it. 
No, no. When you're doing this makes it look bad. It makes you look like you want this. No, no, you, that's, that's, see, that's your paranoid delusional schizophrenia no. coming out of you. See, of course, you have to label it something like that. Of course, because it's easier to label it that than actually just say what you got to say. Okay, well, you're I talking well, about I it, so you might as well tell you it. a sketched out nigger. I didn't say a nigger. I said nigger. a sketched out nigger. Okay, you <laughs> said them both just now. And he's like, wait, hold on. I didn't say nigger, though. You said nigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just remind Thanks. me of a guy in Portland that uh actually I trusted and yeah, then, well, uh, I'm not this guy in Portland, bucks off of me. Wait, what did you do? Wait, hold up. I look like him. Hold on. No, no, no. I didn't oh. say see, I didn't say you look like him. Didn't say you look like him. Ready for see, my you twist my words around, UD. Just like you did with the ID stuff. Jeez. I never twisted your words. I just put you twisted your own words and saying two different things about it. Oh, I can't even. I can't even put this guy. I know. I know. You're way above all this, UD, in your safe space. You're doing good. All right. Sweat again. I said, you're doing good in your safe space there with your LARP. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate it. The compliment. No. We got about eight minutes here, so we got any more frustration? No, you, you don't frustrate me, UD. <laughs> All you do is, All right. is you make me laugh at your bullshit, <laughs> and I laugh at just as hard as you as I was laughing at the Tooth Fairy with her bullshit. Well, how do you know that it's bullshit? Because all of it, though, you're saying it. Just take the parts I know that I put you in. And I know it's not. I know it's bullshit, and what's not when you're saying it about me. Now everybody okay. else might not know, right? But when you're mm -hmm. saying bullshit about me, I know it. It's funny, and it's the same as the tooth fairy shit. You 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 just dragging right along with that same narrative. Just go right along that same Trump train, right? What what have I uh, misled people about? For example, don't say the ID thing. Because I just took your words. No, no, you, that's 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 example number one. I know that's why you need to exclude that. See? Okay, well, include it then. You know, I just, I just have to start going through. There's there's just been so much. I just have to start going through clips and, and just get reminded. Like when you told the lie about the uh, lie about that. <laughs> the hold on, what was that statement? That you were trying to be real front and forward with me. So far until <laughs> you twisted it around when I said and you thought I said kill and you twisted that around. So you, you do some pretty good twisting around or it's your sketchiness. I let the whole I let the whole statement play now. If you're omitting words in your sentences, won't people find that as kind of sketchy? If you didn't even finish your thought of so far until what? Until now? You could have just right. said that. Oh, you got it! Finally! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! yeah that's what I'm saying. You, you could have just said that. You got it like a year fucking later. Oh, my God. No. No. You, this is what you don't get. When you omit oh, okay. words and you change intent, then oh. you want drama and you want problems. You want Sounds people like to interpret it in a certain way. Sounds mm -hmm. like you're kind of projecting. I'm only putting there. what's there. I was only putting what was there. Oh, and then okay. you didn't even want to repeat it. Because you were too scared. Now, is no, anyone no, in I, logic? I, I wanted you to figure it out. The statement. Of, no, I, I wanted so you, you to figure problem. it out, UD. Come yeah, on, no. I wanted you to figure it out on your own. That's what you do too. You put things out there for people to figure out on their own. That's what I did. And you just finally. This is great, buddy. Give give UD a round of applause. He just figured it out. He's had this question for so long. No, I haven't. <laughs> No, I haven't. We already. Oh, you guys are too much fun. No, that's that's why I will keep on coming back. You guys are a lot of fun, and uh, even with your your dumbed down bullshit fantasy and all the projection mm -hmm. you're doing about the sick shit, right? Mm -hmm. You align with people like Eric. Help White Knight for Eric, UD. Come on, he's losing some traction. Give him some space. Give him some airtime. Hey, did you know? Here's here's something interesting, okay? Did you know I that could, the Revolution Radio that he was working for, did you know that those guys were actually busted out some of the tops were busted out protecting pedos through that radio <laughs> station? 
I don't know anything about that. No. Oh, I, I published it a while back. If you would have been watching the channel like you say you don't. Well, I don't that. watch you know what? really. I'm not you know into what, all that kind of stuff. I know. You I don't, don't need exist, to know that but... about who you're white knighting for. It fucks up your heart. I know. But Who's I, just white knighting unlocked, for anybody? I just unlocked it. Who's I just white unlocked for it for you. Okay. I just Who's unlocked white it for anybody. <laughs> this guy is so ridiculous. I can't. I know. Man. It's fun, isn't it? Uh oh. Oh, man. Tool Here we go. His tools. His tools. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Please, with this, man. This is just too much. I'm just, I'm done. You're of done. course they have to put this. Oh, he's so, he's, oh, he's creepy. Oh man, cops so creepy, man. Holy shit. I'm trying to see how old you are. I was gonna <laughs> ask you to take off the glasses real quick. Oh no. Now that's that's not my objective, UD. I'm I'm here to help you break through, okay? And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you with the herb garden. We're gonna we're gonna crowdsource UD in herb garden and have it all sent in. So all he has to do is water it. It'll be all wheeled in for him. Okay, water it. The massa. The massa. All you got to do is water it, dude. And we'll get you started with a click and grow system. You ever heard of that? Okay. It'd be real nice. You're gonna, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard of it. Great system to get up and going for your herbs, for your, for either your garden or your kitchen. <laughs> Maybe we can even come in with the crew, our production crew, and we'll make you some pallet furniture for your, for your patio there, right? And get you some nice flower cushions, and uh, you can put some plants, some herbs up in the back of it too. It'd be real nice, man. Real top notch, classy shit. What did I do to deserve all great, of this? Great for your movie set. You need more props for your movie set. That's maybe what I'm saying. Okay. It's a little That's stale much, over there, UD. Oh, no. It's a little stale on your movie set, dude. You don't have any bird feeders. You don't even have like one hummingbird feeder. Okay, I'm telling you, dude. You well, need an herb garden. Food. You'll eventually be able to do your own cooking show, all right? And some of yes, your recipes, I'm sure, are just great. Okay. Beyond what the chili Colorado can bring out on everybody. Beyond Split Pea Soup Gate 2022, man. Come on. That was all you. We're going to take time out for a round of applause for Cox on the Split Pea Soup. Uh, It was fun, huh? Yeah, it got people, it got you going for a while. (sighs) And I'm telling you, okay? And and I tried to tell you, right? And And I don't make the Split Pea Soup enough to remember. To not oh, put no. the whole package of the smokies, of smokies in, in the yes, split I pea know. soup. I know. I no, know. no, you didn't hear me say that. No, here's the thing is I put the okay. whole package in and I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. And it's just too much. And smokies don't even go in split pea soup. Yes, they do. It's awesome. You should try it. See? Trying to bust you out of your shell, your little veal cage there, okay, man, to get you five, you know, more than five miles away from your house, okay, man. Trying to help you out, dude. You don't, you don't see it. It's okay. Been trying to help you out since day one. You don't see mm. it. It's all right. Keep making your videos. I'm not here to shut anybody down, okay. Okay. Keep. Keep true shards coming up on your panel, letting him spew his bullshit about Mr. Cox. It's all great. Oh, yeah, and Lefty, too. You guys be potting plants. He can come over and help you transplant and repot some of your herbs. Lefty. Lefty's good at that. I know he used to Is work it? at a nursery. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah, but he's perfect. Perfect job for him, potting plants. Lefty there. The upside down I'm- shit. Yeah. Does he does he comb his hair too? Dude. Well, let's put it this way. The guy probably doesn't have any chest hair to, to mess with. Let's put it that way. And the ladies like it. Okay. The ladies like the chest rug. It's coming back in. And some of these simp wads that can't grow <laughs> a chest rug. All right. I feel Round for you guys. Picture. I feel for really? you guys. Yep. Yep, spamming. These guys are spamming the chats, thinking they're badass from the chat room. 
Thinking they're tearing it up. Mm -hmm. But the tearing pussification of America worked. What's good? Say, What's good? What's up, Jason, man? <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Jason, do you know where you just ended up? Nope. Not a All right. Clue. There you go, you need. Now, is, now we got a party Jason going Banks. with Jason here. Holy shit. This is Jason Banks here. Uh no. No, that's that could be the that could be the Canadian Jason Banks, because I bet you he's funnier than Jason Banks. <laughs> the fuck, man. How you doing? How you, how I don't you know doing? what's going on. But uh, hey, how are you? Oh, I'll just chill it. Right on. Good to have Canada in the house. What the fuck? And not a shitty one either. So you know this guy? Oh shit! I'm absolutely getting... not. Holy fuck, man! I'm getting absolutely texts. not. What the fuck you doing nope. on that? What the fuck? Why am I getting texts? I don't know Why who he is. Panel. You know they they're pranking him. They sent him in from a Discord. Oh shit! Oh yeah, That's yeah. I'm good. tripping you out, huh, Jason? It's okay, man. It's all right. Just chill, dude. Just calm down. That's that's what I'm doing with UD over here. Just trying to keep him yeah. calm before he's the shit hits the fan, right? While he's doing his larpage over here, trying to brainwash people with his bullshit rhetoric, right? And that's what I'm here for. Just trying to keep you guys calm. I've never tried really to brainwash anybody with any bullshit rhetoric. I just put what I see. And if you don't see it, then you just don't see it. How am I trying to brainwash people? I'm not. But, but you got people you like UD. It. I have the clip. You cannot deny this, that Mike Truth 101 called you sir. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you've done that yeah. too. Yeah, see, Jason, why you guys do that. Jason is amongst royalty here. We got the Massa. Now, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about UD over here. He's uh, Massa. We uh, here. Yeah. We're yeah, just his white kin here. slave Talk folk. That he just America. tells what to do. Fuck is my phone blowing up? What the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> Jason. Oh man, that's funny, dude. What the fuck Why did I walk be into? Rude? I don't know. But the most free speech area. Figure it out. Shit, no other fuck. than the 1A side on the Urban Disciples panel, where you can call each other chomos all day long if you want. Even chicks get into it, Jason. Right? Even the yeah, chicks right? get in here and call everybody chomos. Yeah. All these white people are chomos. That's that's what this dude's girlfriend is all about, man. She gets up on panel and says, all veterans and white people are chomos. Pedos. Isn't that crazy? It's fucked. Isn't that fucked? Just, it's man? fucked. That's not good. No, it's not good at all, UD. But hey, at least you've well, got your freedom of speech and you can choose, yeah. you can talk to about what you choose on your panel and your, you know what I'm saying? You actually let people come up and try to swing back at you. And dude, it's all good, man. I mean, yeah, well, I guess if they want know, to. Hey, if that's the way you smoke them out, you know, well, especially with the go. Kim stuff, you really mm -hmm. smoked one out there, didn't you? With with Kim. Woo, man, you got her good. Uh, with man. Kim? All them videos. Woohoo. With Kim. This is interesting language, that's all. Jason, when was the last panel you were on? Where did you come from? Loving There's it. There's no eyes here. <laughs> Jason, Jason, I hope your kids and your children and your wife are away for the weekend. Okay, because you'd be tripping, bro. But you're all right. You're in a good spot. Am I? <laughs> I think so. That's why Are you got you sent sure? in, man. Can you, can you come? Yeah. Me no, no, that? no. You, that's why you got sent in, man. It's all good. Sent in. Damn. Yeah. Who are you, actually? I don't know. I've never seen you before. Let's see this. Me man. Maybe I have. Jason is like the ultimate Canadian tourist, like Diana X, right? He's all over. He's totally cool. And there you, you didn't go. Know him, though. No, I don't oh. know him. Okay, just oh, okay. just let me think. You know of him. That's See, all this I was is a good point. No, no, this is a good point because UD thinks he knows where I'm from, right? And he tried to dox no, me with that. You did. I you, didn't. You're trying to say that I was from a certain city. 
Okay, on another panel, he's trying to dox me, Jason. And I go, uh, no, I'm actually not from there. See what I'm saying? So I don't care where you don't you're know from. know where somebody's really from. It doesn't really matter in a sense. It's where you're at mm -hmm. now. But I got oh, what I need. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Right on, dude. <laughs> that was fucking easy. <laughs> All right, take care. That was easy. No, right, no, Jason. All we need now is fucking easy. We, no we need Michigander on here now to play some guitar, man. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh man, you guys just don't realize who I am and what's going on. But anyways, you guys just enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend and be safe out there and be nice to each other and don't hurt anybody, UD. All right? Just be nice to don't people, especially tough. animals. I know how you've got this nothing intense, tough. like, uh, you know, I don't know what it is with this animal thing you got, how you don't like them and all of a sudden they disappear from your vicinity. And I uh, hope there's nothing nefarious there going on, you know, because that's what I'm more interested in is some animals' rights. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. and helping uh, protect animals from from villainous creatures, right? That that want right. to use them and so forth. But anyways, okay, mm -hmm. you guys oh, be me. nice to each other. Hopefully, oh yeah, UD. Did I tell you that was my first major in college? Was actually to become a veterinarian. No, I didn't. But also, what I ended up well, wanted to sounds become like I just knew about it. I didn't is, have to uh, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to become a fish and game wildlife officer, like more than like being able to take down poachers. Okay, that's what that I wanted like to get an into. Autopsy expert. No, well, no, not so much. It was more for for uh, taking down poachers. Okay. Oh. Or people that would want to hurt animals because they're interrupting his streams or something like that. But anyways, mm. we'll be in contact with you soon, UD. Enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend and your stream, man. Party, party on. All right, boss. We'll see you later. Oh, my God. That's fucking weird. And they say, we're not playing any games. But wow. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Anyways, the main reason I came up here is the reason I'm still here right now. So where is this guy? I knew doing this would just draw a lot of people out. So like I had never seen this other guy before. But he got what he needed, so whatever that man. I don't know. There's nothing fishy going on. Actually, shit, it's getting late. An hour, I guess that's cool. Hey, I'll come back later and then I'll try to ask him one more time. Both of them, Katie, Skatey, and Agent 19. And now we'll just throw cucks right in the mix. He wants to show up. But I don't think he has to. Definitely LARPing. Yeah, but like most of them, I get it. Yeah, I said it. It's all bad. Oh, don't listen to Urban Disciples. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I get it all right. Just pay attention. I got to handle some business. I'll be back later. So I'm going to just be doing the same thing over and over until one person actually has the balls to say so. All right. We're going to keep that avatar picture, too. Works out great. Peace. I mean, uh,